What's going on guys? Renegade here with you. I got a video for y'all today. So <clears throat> I know y'all been waiting to see an update on this Renegade that I bought. Um, hadn't done much to it. I've had a lot of foils in the shop, but uh, all we got now is that uh, Polaris over there. Mm. Can't have it in the shop because that uh, decreases the value of the shop. But anyways, I got the rear end out. Uh, it had a billet rear diff in it. Um, I'll take it apart. I'm probably gonna take it apart again, clean it up. Uh, this seal got damaged, so I ordered one. The seal that goes around this. Um, ordered all new seals all the way around. It looked decent, so we're gonna clean it up and uh, yeah. So I went and got my CV Tech clutch back. Um, I did some work for it from a guy. One of my buddies, Will, I keep changing clutches for him. So uh, got the CV Tech back. I'm gonna put it on this bike probably. Um, might end up with some other, oh, I want to focus. Probably end up with some other clutches before too long. But uh, we're gonna start with the CV Tech. The 36s ain't no joke. I tried to put them on my 2021, didn't fit. Um, I might buy some spacers and just make it look super wide so, so they will fit for now until I can get some uh, stretch trailer arms or four day arms and probably both. Yeah, anyways. So yeah, I got the diff out. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen this yet, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would have, but the transmission is cracked. I don't know if something is wrong with it or not, but my good old friend, Joseph Cordell sent me a uh, new case piece. So uh, thanks to him, um, we won't have to buy a whole new transmission or get a used one. Cause you can't just buy this side piece for some reason. Well, at least on Parzell, at least you can't just order that piece. I wish you could. So uh, yeah, he came in clutch with that. We're actually about to pull this motor probably. Um, yeah, probably today, hopefully. It's nice, nice daylight. Oh, dang, I want to focus. Nice and pretty day. Um, I found out I have a Power Commander 5 on here. So when I build a motor, um, won't have to buy one of those. I'm actually not gonna build that motor. I'm probably gonna leave it stock. It's probably gonna be my boat motor. If y'all know what I mean by boat motor. Yeah, y'all be ready. Um, snorkel's gonna get pretty tall to start with. Um, it's gonna be a good time, good summer. Um, anyways, so I got the motor off that 2019 that I had in that box. So that's gonna be the motor I actually build. Um, I got 2021 suspension sitting right here off of another guy. I'm actually gonna put on this bike. I got four axles. So almost everything would be interchangeable between this and my 2021 to start with. Um, <clears throat> I plan on stretching this one and four day arms, so I can fit 36s. Um, I think all the suspension is approximately the same. Why was I doing that so much? I guess I need some water. Um, so I'm gonna probably order the new style since, I mean, that's what everything's going to. The axles are one inch wider, um, well, longer. The foil is one inch wider on both sides, so really two inches of uh, width. Um, so yeah, man, this is a mess. This thing's just laying up in here. These snorkels are coming off. All that's getting redone. Um, yeah. So, um, I kind of want to make this sturdier. I mean, it's pretty sturdy. It's uh, the Gorilla Axle front radiator relocate bumper. But, uh, yeah. It needs another connection point, like right here to the frame. Hey, what is this? Nice and, yeah. Um, but, yeah, probably about to pull that motor out. Um, Got a couple seals leaking like the, I don't know if you can see it. Probably see on the other side better. But the valve cover, here, I'll show y'all. Valve cover's leaking. You can do that while it's in the bike, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it, change this seal, clean this up. Well, I thought I was gonna pull the motor, but uh, I can get to that uh, piece right now, the valve cover. Which I knew that already, but I was thinking, you know, transmission would be easier, but this is just a side piece. Um, I might change that transmission seal, go ahead and take off the uh, drive shaft, but with all this room, I can go ahead and get to everything pretty much. I was gonna pull it off, make sure all the seals are good, everything, but I can pretty much see everything, so. Probably gonna do it once on the bike. Um, reduce all that work, gonna drain the oil, drain the transmission oil, cause it probably ain't got nothing in it anyways. Go ahead and pull the uh, front diff out because it needs new seals, which I'm changing the suspension easy. So, 
easy. Suspension easy already. Change the suspension already. So uh, that will be easy is what I meant to say. Yeah, words are hard. Um, but yeah, uh, cut in and out with video. <laughs> Little minor things that uh, airbox cap is broke. I don't know what the air filter looks like. Ooh. Oh. Let's see if we get this thing off. Jesus, man. What the? It is on there. Let me get if I can, see if I can get a socket off. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I don't know this trick. Just use a socket. Well, there it goes. What the? Somebody been riding through some. I don't even know. I need to order a new one of those. You know what? I am going to actually stick the one I take out of my 2021 on there because it wasn't bad yet. It actually looked pretty good. I just changed it out because it's pretty dusty. Is that water? Huh? We're going to uh, clean it up a little bit and stick this in there. All right. So we got that back in. That looks great, huh? It? it looks great. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to remove enough stuff to be able to change these seals and go ahead and drain the soil. Let's do that first. Make sure it's all good. Make sure it's not like, all right, this old, this old is pretty old. Clean this off some. Can't be having everything dirty now. Ah. Black as can be. You love to see it. And that's why we change it. Clean this off. See if there's any shavings. Don't look too bad. I mean, you got a little bit of stuff in there, but you should always have a little bit on your magnet. Let you know it's working. Put this dude back in here. I always put my hand on it with one hand. Get as tight as I can. And then bump it with the left one. And that should be good. I'm gonna change this filter real fast. And then, uh, if y'all didn't know, the filter's right here. It's inside of this, there's three bolts. Yeah. One, two, three. Take it out, put the other one in. So, yeah, I didn't know if y'all know, but uh, we'll put about two ports in there. I should fill it up. But uh, while I'm on that subject, you always wanna check out a useful if you get one even new ones really because look this is loose this is on the throttle body that's right before it goes into the motor i can literally twist this by hand i don't know if you can see that right? but i can twist it by hand so uh yeah i want to make sure stuff is tight um i might not find everything but hopefully i will uh you never know and that goes for like new foilers used foilers everything i've seen one of those come straight from the factory and loose so got her all tightened up got these two tightened up they're pretty loose too let's see what's in this tranny kind of scared but uh still moves so um yeah that is just mint right there you see that freaking mint well on the bright side no water came out of the transmission but nothing came out of the transmission. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're gonna take the uh, drive shaft off now. So as y'all can tell, that uh, that seal is gone. To the drive shaft off. We're gonna change that. I should have it. Hopefully, I have it. Time to take off this piece. All right. So I got all the bolts out. I'm not sure if I gotta tape that off yet, but I think it comes apart right there. Um, but this came off right here off of your, I call it a PTO shaft. It's the input shaft. Um, yeah, it's got this little rubber seal right here. So make sure you don't lose that. So just gave it a couple taps with the mallet. Ease it up a little bit. Started pulling it off. I'm not sure how it's going to come off. I don't know what's going to be messed up. 
we'll see. Looks like some stuff is stuck in there. Hope nothing is broke. Well, that ain't no good. That must have got some major heat. It broke one gear off. Mmm. I did not want to see that today. That is no good. Is that really going to get stuck there? Nope. Frick. That sucks. Two pieces of metal right here. Dang, that gear's broke too. Mm. That ain't no good. Not what I wanted to see. I don't know what happened. Yeah, but you know, of course, this gear is missing that tooth right there. This gear right here is missing bits and pieces. It's missing that one. It's missing chips right here, right here. Look at this one. This one, this one, a whole tooth right there. Somebody got this one good, real good. I'm debating on just throwing this thing back together and just freaking sending it to it blows through everything. But uh, I'm gonna look up these prices on these gears versus a new transmission, which this is a big transmission, XXC transmission. Um, so it's a big gearbox, but to my knowledge, you can use any gearbox you want because I'll show you right here. This connection is on all transmissions. It just wouldn't use this bottom one or maybe the opposite, one of the two. Um, I'm not 100% on that, but uh, yeah. It may run one of my buddy's smaller transmissions until it blows, but uh, yeah, great. And I was looking through this little hole right here when I took this gear out and I think yeah, 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 definitely. There is a hole in the bottom of the transmission. So I am 100% about to pull this motor and transmission because uh, either going to JB weld that if we're going to run this transmission until it blows. Um, you know, I'm at least give it hope because, I mean, all the oil would come out right there. Um, I'm going to see how much these gears cost. And I was really hoping that this wouldn't happen, but uh, it is what it is. I knew the transmission was messed up. I didn't know how bad, but uh, it's a little worse than I was hoping for. Probably gonna go hop on to 2021 for a minute since there's still daylight and you know, just cruise around a little bit. It's been a minute since I rode. I ain't been to a mud park in over a month and that's not like me, but uh, I've been busy. We had Easter a few weeks ago, Mother's Day this weekend. Um, had something to do in between. I have to work next weekend. Gonna miss. Bama Slam. Gonna miss Mud Bash. If I was gonna go to that, I plan on maybe trying it out. I really wanted to go. It's just a long trip. But uh, I know some people going, so I was gonna go. Or either go to the Bama Slam. One or two. But now, your boy is not going to either one. Dang. Yeah. There's so many gears messed up in this thing. I'm gonna have to take it all the way apart. I just keep seeing more and more. Surprised it even rolled. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah. Let me show you. Uh, let it focus. You're missing there. There. There, there, there. there. Yeah. <laughs> this whole shaft with these gears on, maybe one piece. But, uh, if I get too high, you know, I'm just going to buy a new transmission. Or just, you know, use a different one. But, uh, update. Not a very good update. Not very happy. But it is what it is. So surprisingly, I don't have a transmission laying around. But I will get one because uh, I'm ready to ride this thing. So, or send this to heaven. But I don't want the transmission to completely blow up and then it wreck my motor too. That would not be good. So 
Gonna do something. But yeah, till next time, guys. Renegade out.